Welcome back to www.espressoitalian.com.au Our toll free number is 1300 660 976 We have uh, primed the coffee machine and we are ready to set up the menu Now most people these days do have a mobile phone so this menu is user friendly If you follow my instructions you will have no problems with uh, setting up the menu and the different features that you can have with this beautiful Royal Cappuccino, Seiko Royal Cappuccino. So you press the menu button and you will see that you have four lights that will light up. You have arrow up, arrow down, enter and escape. So what that means is you will see a little asterisk that is flashing on a feature. There is always two features that will show on the menu but whatever the asterisk is um, flashing on that's the menu feature that it will go into if you press enter. So the first one is energy saving. Now if you press enter on energy saving, the machine will go to a sleep mode. There is also a timer that uh, will go to energy saving if you forget to turn the machine off. So to get off energy saving, push menu, the machine will self test and then warm up if it's more than say five minutes. So let's press menu again. We've done energy saving. The next one is language. You can change the language depending on Australia is a multicultural country. So you may want to have your machine uh, displaying your native tongue and the different languages. We have English, Italiano, French, Deutsch, Mandarin, Dutch, Portuguese, Castellano and back to English. So we want English in this case. Press enter. Now the rinsing. Let's press enter. The rinsing is on. So the rinsing is that first rinse that you saw uh, when the machine heats up. Now I recommend you use that because it clears the water that's been sitting in the pipes overnight or the last time that you used it. So leave that rinsing on. System 2 is on. Now system 2 because this machine is the only machine in the Seiko range at espressoitalia.com.au which has twin boiler and twin pump. So what it means is, in this case here, your steam boiler and your coffee boiler are both on. If you turn the system 2 to off, only the coffee boiler will be on. So you will be able to make espresso coffee and hot water. You won't be able to steam. So we'll leave that on. Press enter. Now you need to press enter to confirm the change and then it takes you back out to the menu. Down to the water hardness, press enter. Now the water hardness is on four. There's uh, four numbers and it correlates to the amount of litres that pass through the machine before you need to decalcify the boilers. So if you're using filtered water and you have your filter as well, I would recommend to have the machine on three. If you're using tap water, which I'd never recommend you use, not only for the taste and the quality of the coffee that it will produce, but it's not good for the boilers of the coffee machine. It will build up with more scale a lot more quick, so quickly. So have your water hardness on three. Press enter. Then you have your cup heater. Press enter on the cup heater and the cup heater is on. Be careful if you do have children around if you leave your coffee machine on during the day because this does get quite hot. But it's ideal to put your cups on top. If you have the machine on during the day or in the office, you can heat the cups up. Espresso coffee is not uh, a boiling temperature like instant coffee, so you may want to heat your cups up prior to making your coffee. Leave the cup heater on. Then we come to the temperature of L coffee, which is the large coffee, which is the bottom left button. Let's press enter. Now, the factory settings on this machine is medium. Obviously, the machines are manufactured in Italy and they don't like their coffee too hot there. They just like to quickly drink their coffee. So they have it, the preset on medium. But you can have high, maximum, minimum, or low temperature settings. So let's put it on maximum. Press enter. And then we scroll down to the coffee button, which is the middle, bottom middle button. Press enter and it says medium. We'll press the arrow up twice. 
put it to maximum. Scroll down to short coffee, which is the bottom right button. Press enter. It's on medium as well. Press the arrow up twice, go to maximum, press enter. Then we come to the pre-brew. Now the pre-brew, you will notice when it's brewing the coffee, it will wet the coffee prior to extraction, which makes the coffee swell and will give you more crema on top of the coffee. It will give you a, a fuller, uh, fuller body coffee with more aroma and more taste. So at the moment, it's on. You can have it off or long. I recommend if you like your coffee really at its peak and at its best with a nice crema and a rich body, put the pre-brew to long, press enter. Now the pre-grinding feature is a feature which should be off and it is off. So that's good. Otherwise if pre-grinding is on, there will be ground coffee in the brew unit ready to go. So it grinds after it makes the coffee. You don't really want that feature. You want to leave that off so it grinds fresh every time. The next two we've got program hot water and program cappuccino. I will show you how to do these later on. Uh, these ones here, you can actually program the hot water, which is your top left, and your cappuccino, the cappuccino torre, which is your top right, to um, dispense a program quantity of hot water and milk. We'll do that later. You've got a total coffee button, which is an odometer to tell you how many coffees the machine has made. Press enter. And normally there's seven to 10, seven to 12 coffees that they test in the factory in Italy where they manufacture the machines. In this case, there's eight. I don't know if you can see that. So that's eight. You can't wind the clock back. It just continues to count. Then you have your descaling. We'll go through that later on and your signal for descaling, which I'll explain later in the next video, and your timer. In this case, if you forget to turn the machine off after three hours, the machine will go to that energy saving mode, which is the sleep mode. The machine will go into a sleep mode. Now, it, you can have it from 15 minutes to three hours. In this case, let's leave it at three hours. It's up to you. I would switch the machine off myself personally with my machine at home. When I finish making my coffees, I switch the machine off. So press enter. Then you have uh, a vending program, which you can put a four digit pin in and you can uh, program the machine to say, after 30 coffees, it will switch off. And you put the pin in, in an office environment, for example, your boss may not want you to uh, drink too much coffee. Uh, so they can put a pin in and block the machine after a certain amount of coffees. And the final one is the rinsing cycle, which I will go through with the, in the next video. The factory settings also will revert everything back to how the machine was set up in the factory. So www.espressoitalia.com.au, our toll free number 1300 660 976.